Let's improve. Hello, freaks of the internet. My name is Forever13, and I decided to make this a series all a long time ago, but I suck at recording audio, so here we are. Same face syndrome is something that all artists go through where all of your characters look the same. Mostly in the face, which is where the syndrome gets its name. This is common in animation by both large companies like Disney and smaller YouTube channels. I believe this is due to saving time and resources, but many artists in larger companies are able to make different faces without much trouble. I would show examples of how I used to have same face syndrome, because believe me, I did. But I once got mad at something, probably something that was my fault, and ripped up all my old art. Yay! I'm also not going to show other artists examples because 1. Copyright and 2. I don't really want to because I feel like that would be rude even if I did get permission. Before I continue, I understand that young artists and beginning artists may draw the same faces due to lack of experience, practice purposes, and because they like drawing the same face over and over again. If you're an artist and you draw the same face on all of your characters, that's more than fine. This video is not meant to attack you. This video is to give you some tips on how you can improve, and if you're not ready to come out of your comfort zone yet, that's okay. Keep practicing and come out when you're ready. With that out of the way, here's my advice. One quick way you can get rid of same face syndrome is to change the eye shape. While the nose and other details will be the same, you can still tell the characters apart. An example of where this works is in My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. All the characters have the same face structure, but you can tell which character is which because of the eyes. Things like the eyelashes, eye shape, and how big the eye is helps people tell their characters apart no matter what the character is wearing or how they wear their hair. The second way how you can cure same face syndrome is to change the shape of the face. Now not everyone will be able to draw different face shapes with their style. I couldn't tell just a little while ago. But if you're feeling confident, you should try to make some characters with sharper faces and some characters with rounder faces. Many artists do this, and while it's a smaller change, it does make a big difference. Of course, time being the difference in the way of seeing the character and not in drawing as it's harder than it looks. The third thing I'll talk about is making different nose shapes. Again, like the face shapes, I'm aware this won't work for all styles, but I do think it's good practice. I'm not expecting fellow beginner artists to make realistic noses in cartoon styles. That's really hard. I'm saying you should have more variety in nose shapes. That did not make any sense whatsoever. I'll show different examples of noses that you can draw and hope that it can explain it as I talk nonsense. You can practice making the noses rounder, sharper, longer, or shorter. And of course, use all these things. The last thing I'll talk about is adding small details. These details include scars, beauty marks, freckles, anything you'd see on a person's face naturally. It's a small thing in both needed skill and in the final product, but again, it's a big difference. I hope that you can use this advice in a positive way and improve your art. If you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't like it, tell me why in the comments below, as I'm always looking to improve. I'm Skullover13, and I'll see you freaks in the next video. Bye!